Universe. We're up to our final round of competition here at Miss Universe 2004. And to many, this is considered the hardest part of the night. I mean, they're under pressure. La pregunta final. It's the final question. We live for this moment. <laughs> all right, during the week, we met with all 80 women, and we asked each one to make a final question. Earlier, we pulled the questions written by the top five and the current Miss Universe, Amelia Vega. So that means the final question is coming from someone else right here on this stage. Ladies, you will only have 30 seconds to answer before you hear this bell. And to help us communicate in some cases, we'll be using precision translating services. So good luck, ladies, okay? Let's begin with Paraguay. Good luck. Go ahead and pick your question. Okay, and you picked your own question. Es tu pregunta, tienes que escoger otra porque sería muy fácil. Oh, sorry, that's your job. I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm so glad you're standing there. Okay. Okay, your question comes from Trinidad and Tobago. If you could interview any female leader in history, who would you interview and why? La voy a hacer es una pregunta que hizo Trinidad Tobago. La pregunta es si pudieras tú entrevistar a una muchacha que fuera un líder mundial, un dirigente mundial, ¿a quién entrevistarías y por qué la entrevistarías? Un líder mundial. Entrevistaría a Eva Perón por su lucha incondicional para su país. Yo pienso que I would interview Evita, uh, Eva Perón. Eva Perón, Evita Perón, because she has continuously struggled towards uh, the freedom of her country. Yo pienso que, que lo que tenemos arraigado desde el fondo de nuestro corazón es nuestro país. Yo estoy ahora fuera del mío y realmente es la emoción que siento, no les puedo explicar. Estoy aquí, en el mismo universo, y soy finalista. Gracias. Gracias. I believe that what we have uh, deep within our hearts is our own countries, and that is what I struggle for. And I am here as Ms. Un in Ms. Universe pageant as a finalist. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you. Okay, next. USA. All right, Shandy, pick time. a question and hand it to me. You just picked your own, didn't you? No, you didn't. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico asks you this. What do you think has been women's greatest contribution to today's world and why? By far, children. <laughs> we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the caregiver, the homemaker, the person who takes care of the home and who makes it what it is. Yes, men are great and we need men, but what would we do without women? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And next, Puerto Rico, come on over. Your turn. Okay, and your question comes from Paraguay, and she asks, give us three words that would describe you, and why? I'm very perseverant, um, sincere, and very sympathetic, so I'm very perseverant. I always work hard for what I want, and I think that's what all we, we should do, to achieve whatever we want, no matter how hard it is, and that's why I'm here at the Miss Universe. Even though I have many obstacles, I went for my dream, and here I am making my dream come true. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next, Australia. Australia, reach in, hand a question to me. Ozzy, 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 oi, oi, oi. All right, this is from Amelia Vega, Miss Universe 2003. <laughs> if you could choose what time period to be born and what sex to be, what would you choose and why? Uh, I'd have to say that this time period, because we have as much freedom as we want, and I, I choose the sex of female, because females have a lot of say in today's society. So I'd say this century, this, today. <laughs> Thank you. Australia. All right, next, Trinidad and Tobago, come on down, it's your turn. Go on and take a question. And this question comes from USA, and she wants to know, we tend to learn our biggest lessons from our failures. What is one failure in your life that you learned the most about? Hmm, trust Shandy to give me a hard question. Oh, good evening, Ecuador. One failure I learned the most from in my life <laughs> would definitely be when I hit my head on stage in my first fashion show, because here I am now, I learned from it, I learned how to walk and to overcome that fear of a big audience, and what an audience we have tonight. Thank you. Thank you. 
All right, excellent job, ladies. Very nice. All right, we're moments away from finding out which one of these women will become Miss Universe 2004.